why traveling at the speed of light could destroy the universe and also your weekend plans. Picture this Earth, a few centuries from now where space travel is as casual as hopping into a taxi. Beam me up, Scotty is the new hay. Can you give me a ride but hold your rockets, because right now we can't even book enough vacation days to visit our nearest stellar neighbors. To reach Alpha Centauri, our closest star friend, we'd need to buckle up for a 50,000-year rocket ride. And if you're dreaming of visiting Icarus, one of the farthest stars in our galaxy, better pack a lifetime supply of snacks because it's 9 billion light years away. Even at the speed of light, you'd be a fossil before you cross the Milky Way. So, what are our rocket scientists up to? Trying to build engines faster than light. But spoiler alert, it's like trying to outsmart the laws of physics with a rubber chicken. In this video, we'll explore some wacky ideas to outrun light speed. But first, we might need to rewrite the laws of physics. No biggie, right? So what happens if we crank up the speed dial on our spaceship? Let's dive in. The photon engine your cosmic paddleboat. Norwegian professor Espen Garter Hogg came up with a zany theory in 2017. He suggested we could build a spacecraft that zips along at 99.999% of the speed of light, using photons. You know, those massless, electric charge zero particles that only exist while traveling at light speed. Sounds easy, like using sunlight to toast your bread on a chilly day. To get our spaceship moving with photons, we'd need a solar sail think of it as a cosmic kite. But here's the catch to propel 1 kg of matter to light speed you'd need a sail about 100,000 square meters. If our engineer weighs 70 kg, they'd need a sail the size of 25 football fields. Talk about a windbreaker. The good news? No need for a fuel tank, because the sun's got our back. It's been shining for 5 billion years and isn't planning to retire anytime soon. With constant acceleration, our sail could hit 14,000 kmh in 100 days. After three years, we'd be zooming at 240,000 kmh Pluto, here we come. Japan's space agency already tested a mini version in 2015, with a solar sail the size of a studio apartment. It picked up a measly 10 meters per second speed increase, proving that while it's a slowpoke, it's a determined one. Antimatter engines, when regular fuel just won't do. But what if photons aren't cutting it? Enter the antimatter engine. Imagine mixing regular matter with antimatter it's like combining baking soda and vinegar, but with more kaboom. Antimatter engines could generate energy 300 times more powerful than nuclear fusion. Problem is, antimatter is rarer than a unicorn at a BBQ. Engineers have dreamt up a hybrid engine needing less antimatter. One idea from 1992 involved a tiny fuel capsule getting zapped with antiprotons to unleash a chain reaction that powers the spacecraft. To reach Pluto, you'd need only 100 grams of antimatter tiny but insanely expensive and time-consuming to produce. At current rates, it would take billions of years to make just one gram. You might as well try knitting a sweater from moonbeams. Warp drives to infinity and beyond, maybe. Mexican physicist Miguel Alcubier proposed a warp drive in 1994 bending space-time so your ship stays still while space moves around it. Think of it as cosmic surfing. But the energy needed could empty the universe's gas tank. Plus, entering and exiting warp mode might collapse your bubble and the ship. It's like trying to park a car in a garage made of soap bubbles. Einstein's speed limit the cosmic speed bump. According to Einstein, nothing can exceed the speed of light without turning into an infinite mass party but what if we could sneak around this rule with wormholes? These cosmic shortcuts might let us skip across the galaxy faster than a cat chasing a laser pointer. Yet, falling into one might be like diving into a blender on turbo. Breaking the universe the ultimate oops. Now, let's say our engineer manages to push the spaceship beyond the speed of light. They're zipping through space, defying Einstein, and feeling pretty smug. But hold on what happens when you stop. When you travel faster than light, you're essentially outrunning photons. Imagine our engineer spaceship catching up to and surpassing a photon those little particles of light would pile up at the front of the ship like a traffic jam at rush hour. When the ship finally stops, all those photons release their energy at once. The result? 
a blast of radiation so intense it makes a supernova look like a sparkler. This could vaporize the ship, its crew, and potentially any nearby planets. So, yeah, not the best travel itinerary. But it gets worse. According to Italian physicist Dr. Fulvio Milia and his colleagues, this burst of photon energy could unleash temperatures unseen since the Big Bang Think 1032 Kelvin, or 142 million 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 degrees Celsius. It's the cosmic equivalent of microwaving the universe. And if that doesn't scare you, consider this faster than light travel could mess with time itself. The Alcubierre warp drive theory suggests that such a ship could create closed time-like curves, essentially making it a time machine. Our engineer could return to the same point in space, but at a different time. This isn't just a wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey problem, it's a potential butterfly effect disaster. One small tweak in the past like stepping on a prehistoric butterfly could drastically alter the course of evolution, turning the universe into an unpredictable mess. In the grand scheme of things, our attempts to outpace light could inadvertently break the universe. So, is it worth the risk? Maybe it's better to stick to sci-fi movies and enjoy the thrill of intergalactic travel from the comfort of your couch. After all, who needs to travel faster than light when you've got popcorn and a good imagination? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more out of this world content. Don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss an update. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on faster than light travel is it worth the risk? and what sci-fi movie gets it right. Until next time, keep dreaming big and exploring the cosmos safely.